Back to the beat, which I think deserves one more element. And to create it, I'm going to use Live's MIDI effects. Now I have an entire fast track course dedicated to Live's MIDI effects, and it goes really in depth, and these are very powerful tools. So I recommend you take that course if what we do here makes you at all curious about them. So I'm going to take, let's see, let's do a collision. Nice bell sound. No, let's do an electric. That seems a little more appropriate here. Actually, you know what? We'll do the bells here, and let me hear those keys again. I think maybe I'm gonna put an electric on there. Yeah. Okay, that's working a little better for me. So back to the collision. I'm gonna generate everything with just one note. So what key are we in? Doesn't really matter, but I'll just press an A here. And let's do it on the two and the four. Okay, so what was I talking about? Oh yeah, MIDI effects. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is turn this into a chord. So each of these shift dials allows me to add sort of an extra finger to any incoming MIDI note, add a relative semitone above or below the incoming MIDI, and these determine the velocity multiplication so if you want it to be the same velocity, just leave it at one. If you want some of them to be stronger, bring it above one or quieter below one. Okay, I want a note length here. Shorten the length of the notes. And then I want to arpeggiate them, I think. and choose a different arpeggiator mode here. Now I'll put a pitch ahead of that. Now those don't always sound good because I'm pulling them out of the scale. So maybe I'll add a scale plugin here, but not just any scale plugin. That chromatic scale transformer isn't gonna do much. I'll take a basic minor but I'll set the bass to the correct key, which is A. And this is gonna make sure that any notes that get sent into it come out in the right key. So I'm not a huge fan of this collision sound, but you're getting a feel for what I can do with the MIDI effects, of which I'll do two more here. Uh, one is a random note, and this will occasionally randomize the notes of the arpeggio, so they don't always go in the exact same order. Now if I put that outside of the C minor, remember the MIDI signal flows in serial, it'll pull them outside of the scale. 
So if I want to keep everything diatonic, I want it before the scale. Finally, throw a velocity at the end. So I can make the resulting velocities a little more dynamic. Now I might have to apply velocity 